Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here with Chloe, and this is finally another um, update of the whole pet spotlight thing. <clears throat> I'll turn around in a second. She's not too happy today. I did a cage clean today, and then all by myself, I cut her hair, Lily's hair, and Daisy's. Daisy gave me the hardest time. Chloe didn't give me a hard time, but what was funny is when I first put her on the ground, because I usually cut them on the ground, but still on this, she took off and ended up under my desk. I was like, ah, chasing after her, but it was fine. <laughs> so I cut her bum all by myself, and she didn't even have a wet bum, considering I let it go, kind of, but I, I don't know, it was good. It was, like, not wet, and it was fine under here. And I gave her a bit of a cut on the sides, because it was getting kind of long. That's where all the curls are, I find. Like, the top is just frizzy, and then underneath, she's got these beautiful, like, ringlets. And that's what I was cutting off. You could see the little ringlets all over the pad. And I was like, oh, your curls. And you're, look at that. I wish my hair was like that. Not really. It kind of is. Look at her curls. So she got pretty bummed. This is how I cut her. I just hold her with one hand, and then the other hand I start cutting. So I did all of that. She looks good. Now let's uh, show your face. Nobody wants to see your butt. I really like how her hair is not like the others where it comes front. I like how it stays at the back so I don't have to worry about the front too much. And she's so cute. You too, darling. Look at your face. <laughs> so, um, Chloe, I actually adopted, like for reals, from the, um, Winfrey County SPCA, so, yeah, and she was at the local Pet Value, though, because Pet Value helps the, uh, SPCA, they'll take in hamsters, guinea pigs, they've had rabbits, you know, all that, uh, cats they usually have. They don't usually have dogs at the, where I live, I don't know about the other one, there's another Pet Value, <clears throat> and they might have the dogs. Mine, mine's really small, the store, the Bad Valley, so it only has, uh, usually cats. So I did adopt. What happened was, we were thinking of getting another pig. I don't know why, though. I just got, like, the bug of, like, wanting another guinea pig. And, um, everybody else seemed to be doing it, and then... But they were planning it better, where I don't plan things, I just go out and get another guinea pig. So, and I was looking at Gigi, and I had found kind of one, but the back and forth between me and that person who, um owned her was getting like stupid like she was I can't remember I wish I remembered more about it but she was making me angry and I was about to be like screw you and her pig wasn't even like it was just a straight haired guinea pig and he was she was really small and I was just like it just sounded like she didn't want to give it up so it's like if you don't want to give up your pig then just keep it you know and then we went to Pet Value, and we saw her with her curly hair, even though she was, I was going to say a kitten, even though she was a kitten at the time, even though she was a baby at the time, you could still tell she was curly. And, her, and I was like, oh my god, a curly pig, I have to have her. So we adopted her, and uh, Pat paid for the adoption fee. I think I should have cut this piece. I think I missed this. Oh well. Oh well. You know, some waves floating in the, in the wind. So, she is my curly piggy, who is so cute, look at your paws. She is extremely shy, always has been, still kind of is. Um, <clears throat> she's happy in her cage, she loves a clean cage. She's always happy, like the day I clean the cage, she runs around and pops. Um, like I said, always shy. She's not that loud, you'll hear her weaking with everybody else, but not that loud. Like, she didn't make much of a fuss when I was cutting her. Well, let's say Daisy was starting to, like, scream <laughs> when I was cutting her. So, because she always thinks I'm like gonna cut her leg off, I don't know why. But um, so she was quite quiet at least. She doesn't take treats from my hands yet, but she's getting close. She almost did once. She kind of like grabbed it and then let it go, and I was like, "Well, take it," you know. Yeah, take it, yes, silly muncher. She definitely runs around, like I said, and you have her out. She just wants to uh, take off, like she's about to do by the looks of it. We already saw your bum. We already saw your bum. Right? We already saw your bum. So, I don't know. I didn't ask too many questions at the Pet Valley because I find Pet Valley doesn't know much about the animals that they're helping adopt. Like, you can ask them history and they're like, we don't know. Like, they don't know why they got them or whatever. But it looks like, because I went to the 
SPCCA website, and because um, I found her picture on there, and it looked like somebody had babies, and all the babies were up for adoption, just at different locations. Like there was two, there was two at my pet value, her and somebody else, uh, but the other one was um, straight-haired, believe it or not. So if they were siblings, it was quite odd. Straight-haired, white, red eye, but she was long. I was just kind of like, mm, I already have a, like, a long-haired red eye, so I really love her color. She's ginger and her stripe. And as Carrie says, she has a pantaloon. Uh, I think it's this side. Where's your pantaloon? Yeah, there. Her back leg here is white. Just that one. It's, it's cute. So that's her pantaloon. And what's funny is she has no knots in her hair, like as kinky as it is. It's even when I the stuff that I cut off wasn't really knotted, it was just curly and there was no mats, so that's good. I wanted to keep her quite long. I just did a little bit of trim on the sides. Like obviously I missed that because the side is not really like that. <laughs> but whatever. I did her bum as close as I could get. You weren't a happy camper, but you behaved so well. You let me do it. She's actually the easiest one to cut, as much as she hates it. I think it's because she hates it so much, she's too scared to move or fight me. I just hold her and she, I just can do what I can, just cut off what I want. Well, Daisy will kick, make a fuss. Lily screams, but she doesn't really kick like Daisy does. But yeah, she's actually the easiest one. I was going to give them a treat, but I haven't yet. But they just had their reg, and hey, so maybe a bit later I'll give them a treat for being so good. And Trixie, what was funny was when I was trying to grab them to cut them, Trixie's running away, and I'm like, Trixie, I don't want you, your hair's fine. Your hair's... It's only the three I have to cut, and she's the, she's the easiest, I don't want to cut the top. Where Lily, I had to, like, she, her hair was getting long, like, everywhere. So, I trimmed it down a bit. I like playing with this little piece. We'll keep this. We'll keep this. She's thick, though, like, she's dense. Look at this. Look at that. You're like a little sheep. Hmm? Little sheep with the face of a straight haired piggy. So other than that, she has gone along with the girls fine. All the girls accepted her. They didn't there was no fights, like actual like, oh my god, they're fighting. There was more of just chasing, rumbling. They didn't even try to mount her, but she was really small at first, so maybe that's why. I don't think she's been in heat yet. She hasn't I think I caught her chasing a couple of the other pigs around a couple of times, but not full blown. Because she's still quite young. I've actually lost track. I'm so get bad with her ages. I've, she might still be a... I think she would be over six months now, though. Because she wasn't a baby when I got her. She was young, but she wasn't quite as young as Daisy when I first got Daisy. So, whichever. Hmm? Yeah. I see your eyes. So I don't have the flash on because I didn't want to scare her. So this is her true color. And that's pretty much it about Chloe. Um, she was in good health. She did have one thing on her back when I first got her, which I didn't really talk about. But I, but I didn't even see it until I was playing around with her and grooming her. She had like a scab on her back when I first got her. Which could have been from like a bite from her siblings or whatever. Oh, excuse me, I just ate. And so I do have Revolution. Like the kitten puppy Revolution, which is good for mites, and I think it might be good for lice, even though it's very, very rare for guinea pigs to get lice. I know it's good for mites. So I put, I gave her a dose, and I gave all the other piggies a dose, because if you give one a dose, you have to give them all a dose, just in case it was like a mite issue. And it ended up healing up quickly, and it's gone, so it might not have been that, but I ended up, you know, dosing the revolution anyways, because it's not going to harm them. Because you definitely can't, I don't even know where it is, where it was. So yeah. That is the pet spotlight on Chloe, and she's a cutie. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask, and bye-bye.